If you haven't thought about offline maps before, it's definitely time to consider your options. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Real quick before we get going, I've got to give a shout out to these guys. They're my latest patrons over on Patreon. If you'd like to help support the channel, I'll leave a link to Patreon down in the description below. Hey, welcome back guys. Jason, KM4ACK. Today I want to take just a few minutes to discuss some of the options that are out there for offline mapping capabilities. Now, many of you are like me and you grew up in a time before the internet and before cell phones and all of the easy navigation that we tend to rely on today. And many of you probably remember these old guys. These were paper maps that we could get and I had one, well, I've had one for probably 30 years now. Of course, I update them every so often. And these are a fantastic choice for offline mapping. In fact, you can see that mine is uh, pretty well used right there. But those are a fantastic options and they do have some advantages assuming you can read those type of maps. One of the great things about them is it's always there and it doesn't matter if we've got an internet connection or a cell phone connection. But the downside to them is, well, let's take this one for instance. This just covers the state of Tennessee. So if I'm going out of state, I'm going to have to grab additional maps to cover those particular states. Now, you can get one that is uh, national, will cover the entire United States. The downside to those is you don't get good detail levels for the various cities when you're looking at uh, a national coverage map. These that are state specific do give you pretty good coverage for individual cities. It gives you a good detail level of each of those larger cities and many of the smaller cities as well. And I will not be ditching my paper maps anytime soon, but I do want to talk about at least three other possibilities that we might use for offline mapping with either our laptop or our cell phone. Now, let's go ahead and start with an application that many of you may already have installed as a ham radio operator. All right, so Yak is one of my favorite applications on Linux for offline mapping. Once you've got these maps downloaded, you can get a lot of detail right here from Yak and all of it happening offline. Now, before we get started here, I'll show you guys in just a second exactly how much of the US I have downloaded, but I'm going to come over here to my file directory. We're gonna go into Yak and the tile directory right here. This is what houses all of your map tiles. So I'm just gonna right click on that and look at the properties of it. And you'll see that I'm only using about five gigs of hard disk space for all of the maps. And I'll show you guys again exactly here in just a second how much of the US I have downloaded. I don't have it all, but I've got about uh, probably 85% of it anyway. All right, so let's take a look again here in Yak, and I just want you to get an idea. I'm gonna move that around and center up right here. Let's go ahead and start zooming in on that so you can see the detail level that we get. And that's about the max zoom we can get in right there. Now, the cool thing about this is you can easily read the street names over here. What we're looking at is the local university, uh, Middle Tennessee State University here. But we can also click on any one of these little icons and get more information. So if I click on that one right there, you'll see that this is the Meter Student Union. There is a fast food steak and shake in there, and it's part of Middle Tennessee State University. If we click on something else, let's take this down here in the bottom right hand corner. Let's click on that. It's going to tell us that that is a playing field. Obviously it's a baseball field, but that is a playing field on MTSU's campus. Let's go ahead and try one more right up here in the top left corner. If I click on that one, it's gonna let you know that it's the Johnny Red Floyd Stadium. It's also a playing field. That happens to be their football field and it's on MTSU's property. So a lot of details that you can get from this offline map. Now, it is possible to search for landmarks and different roads. I don't find that it is a really good search engine in here, but it is there for you to use. If you come right up here to locate and then landmark, 
there's also a keyboard shortcut to it. That will bring up this search dialog box here. You can put your search text here and then you can set the max radius that it's going to search. So we'll just set this out for 15 miles and then let's try to search for Maine and see what it comes up with. And you'll see that anything that's got Maine in the name will populate right here in this. However, when you're looking for specific street addresses, you're not going to get that. It's only going to get you to the street. You're going to have to rely on your own instincts to find the exact street address that you want once you're on that street. It is also possible to use GPS in conjunction with this. It's not the smoothest thing when we're talking about using Yak for navigation, but it will give you a decent idea of where you are currently. Now, let's go ahead and zoom out here so you can see how much of the U.S. that I have downloaded, and I'll show you guys exactly how to download that map. All right, so let me show you guys how to download a section of the map that you may not have already. As you can see, I'm zoomed out here and you can see kind of exactly what I've got downloaded. I've got the vast majority of the US already downloaded, but I've got my mouse hovering over the LA area. And you can tell that by looking down in the bottom left corner, it tells me the grid that I'm hovering over right now with the mouse is Delta Mike 04 Uniform Tango. So what I wanna do is I'm going to right click right there and I'm gonna say move home here. And it's going to ask me to confirm that I want to move the home there. Now, it won't immediately populate on the map. You actually have to move this map to make that populate. So let's go ahead and do that right now and give this map just a second to redraw. You'll see it immediately jumped over to that area, but it does take a minute to get this to redraw because it's pulling in all of those tiles again. Now that it's redrawn that map, I'm going to go up to File, I'm going to come down to Open Street Map, and I'm going to say Download Pre-Imported Tiles. So we'll go ahead and click on that. That's going to pop up the dialog box. Now, if instead of moving to where you want in a blank area and right-clicking and setting the home, you could also just put the lat and long into this box, whichever way is easiest for you. Now, for this demo, I'm just going to be downloading a 100 kilometer radius just to make it go a little faster for the video. You tell it what uh, radius you want to download right here. You can also choose this right here that says refresh all existing map tiles. Since I don't have any, I'm not going to worry about that. Once you have done that, you can just simply click OK. You'll get a little dialog box that looks like this that will give you the progress of those tiles being downloaded. Now that those are downloaded, I'm going to come over here to roughly that same area and center the map right there. And then let's go ahead and start zooming in to see what that level of detail looks like that we just downloaded. And you'll see that once we've zoomed in, we've got good street level detail once again. Now, as much as I like Yak, there are some drawbacks. We don't get turn-by-turn -turn navigation, and that's one of the great places that the cell phone comes in really clutch. Now, the cool thing about the cell phone is, even if you don't have cellular service, the GPS is still going to work. Even if you're in the middle of storm-damaged areas, like uh, maybe the aftermath of Hurricane Helene. Now there's two different apps we're going to be taking a look at today. The first one is going to be Organic Maps. This one will give you offline maps and it will give you turn-by-turn -turn navigation. Now, this is pretty easy to get maps downloaded. You can simply click on the little hamburger menu down here in the bottom right corner. We're going to come to Download Maps. I'll click on that. And then we can simply search for a map. Now, I am going to click on this United States of America right here, and you'll see that I've got already 17 of 154 different maps, and that's taking up a little over one gig of space on my phone. If I click into this, you can see that I've got five different states downloaded. 
and it will tell you how many maps there are available for each state and how many I've got downloaded. As you can see, I have downloaded every single map for these five particular states, but you might not need each of those. So you could download just what you need and save a little bit of space on your phone. Now, if I wanted to download a new map, I would simply come up here to the search bar, highlight that, and then let's say Florida. Now, as you can see, Florida pops up right at the top and we have five different maps available. If I wanted to cover the entire state, I would need to download all five of those maps. You could do that individually or you could just come down to the bottom left corner right there and click the download all button. And you'll see that uh, just the state of Florida is going to take up another 842 megabytes. Now, on this particular map, and I tell you what, let me just go ahead and put the phone in airplane mode and kill the Wi-Fi connection. All right, so let's zoom out a little bit here on the map. We'll go up to Nashville, and we're going to zoom in because I want you guys to see kind of the detail level you can get with this map completely offline. Now, if I wanted to navigate here to this Commerce Street, I'm simply going to tap the map and that is going to bring up this dialog box in the back. And now I can simply click Route To. If I click that, it will start to show me the route that I'm going to need to take. And if I simply click the Start button, it will start giving me turn-by-turn -turn directions. Also, notice up at the top, we've got the availability to choose Auto, uh, if we're walking, if we're taking public transit, or if we're taking a bicycle. So you can set some parameters that will be used for turn-by-turn -turn navigation. Now, Organic Maps is completely free and it is the one that I typically prefer because I don't have to pay any additional fees to be able to use it with something like Apple CarPlay. So that will show up right there on the navigation screen in my truck, making it easy for me to see while I'm driving. Organic Maps is also another fantastic option. Let's go ahead and take a look at that one real quick, and you'll see, very similar to the way Organic Maps looks, we get that same cool map, and we will also get a good level of detail. Now, as you can see, my phone is still in airplane mode, and the Wi-Fi is still turned off. So if I zoom out here, and let's try to zoom in on Nashville again, you'll see that we still get a great street level detail right here in this map. Again, if we touch, no, wait, I think you have to touch and hold in this application, it will drop a pin on the map. And from there, you can simply come down to the bottom right corner and click navigation. It's going to bring it up from your current position and navigate to that pin that you dropped on the map. It also gives you some more information as far as elevation is concerned and the distance that you're going to be traveling. By simply clicking start, we would get those turn-by-turn -turn directions that we're all familiar with. Now, let me cancel out of that. I do want to turn on my cellular connection and the Wi-Fi real quick so I can show you guys how to download maps in this application as well. Like before, we're going to click on the hamburger menu. This time it's in the bottom left corner. Next, let's click on maps and resources. And you'll see that I have five maps locally downloaded, taking up 1.9 gigs of space on my phone right now. And I have three maps that actually need an update. But we'll skip past that. Oh, it does give you some cool information up at the top where it's uh, telling you your device memory and how much free space you have. Now, one of the downsides to OSM maps is you do have to pay for it if you want unlimited map downloads. I think they give you four maps for free and it's telling me that I've got three more available. I'm not sure that might reset after a period of time because I know I've already downloaded five maps and it says I've still got three available. Maybe I had 10 in the very beginning. I honestly can't remember. Scrolling down, let's go ahead and click on North America right here and then the United States. And you'll see that each of the states is listed here available for you to download. Now, unlike organic maps, 
you do not get CarPlay with OSM maps uh, unless you pay for the subscription to their service. And again, that's kind of why I prefer the organic maps. Now, as an honorable mention, I also want to mention Viking Maps on Linux. Although I don't like the way you have to download their maps, it is really good software that you can run on Linux. And you can export tracks that you've created in Viking and put those tracks in both OSM and Organic Maps. So you could pre-create that uh, track in Viking that you wanted to follow along. You can export that from Viking and then import that to your phone and be able to follow that exact track on your phone. If you found today's information helpful, be sure to give us a thumbs up before you head off. We will see you guys on the next one. Until then, 7-3.